Hi everyone and welcome back to Whisk Pilgrim. Yeah, and to the third part in my series of the Hand of Doom. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm first gonna tell you why you listen to this or li looking at this review. Listen to this one as well. This is Alice in Chains with the Dirt. Probably, in my view, I think I get shit maybe for this. I do like this more than the Nirvana actually. <laughs> they never got to the same popularity. Because they came out pretty much the same time as Nirvana, and Nirvana is still a great band, but I do have to say this band, Alice in Chains, were, in my opinion, in my opinion alone, and that's just my opinion, better. So yeah, please check out this album with Alice in Chains with the Dirt. Yeah, bloody good album. So let's the hand of doom now decide what whiskey we're gonna be reviewing. Interesting. Oh. This is a uh, 16 euro Mortlack, nice. And this was given to me by a uh, subscriber to me from both YouTube and Instagram. And uh, yeah, a follower, you could say, as well. And I actually met this guy. Uh, he's from Scotland, outside Edinburgh, I think. Uh, his name is Dominic. Thank you very much, Dominic, for this one. This is the Mortlack. Oh, scheiße. <laughs> oh, shit. Wait. Oh, so it doesn't break. There we go. The Mortlack 16, it's 43.4% uh, ABV, so very interesting stuff. And it's like this, so I'm probably gonna break it and I'm not gonna, yeah. So it is these ones. So, let's see if we can just, yeah, there we go. No problem, so yeah. This will be my first uh, Mortlack, I think this is from their standard release actually. It's a 16 year old. So I'm not sure if this is the new one that came out or this is like from the floor of Fiona, but I don't think that because I should have said floor of Fiona. So yeah, let's get to this. There we go. Let's pull out. Uh, there we go. Nice. So yeah, Mortlack, 16 year old, 43.4% ABV. Interesting. <coughs> I think I've only had one more like before, and that's from an independent bottler here in Sweden, Elvatten. It's, that one was really good, it was a 12 or 13 year old cherry cask. So let's see here. Okay. I get some oranges, or yeah. Orange, honey, some like uh, tropical syrupy notes as well. Hmm, very interesting. It's not aggressive or anything, it's just very... Mm. Maybe some butter, cream maybe. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I don't know where no more actually. <coughs> it's not that I don't think it's. Um, there's not really that much more I would say on this one. But there's some tropical notes to this one definitely. Yeah, some salt as well. Floral notes as well. But yeah, interesting. So let's get into the palette now. Cheers. Hmm. It's very syrupy, fruity, tropical, I would say. Honey, and it just goes all the way. There is some spice or bite to it a little bit with the oak, of course. But it's not like a little bit tiny heat, maybe like cinnamon, I would say. Hmm. Yeah. 
But it's very sweet syrup and fruity, tropical fruity, I would say. With a little bit of spice. Yeah. I don't know if I would buy a bowl of this actually. I'm very thankful for to try this. I think this is a whiskey that um, <coughs> that would go very well for someone who is uh, beginning their journey. It could also be a very good whiskey just to have, you know, when you have people over, you don't want to, you know, maybe this gonna sound bad, maybe, but take more the, more the whiskeys that you like more. If you know that these are people that are not very used to drinking whiskeys, this could be a good just talk whiskey. I think quite easy to drink, quite easy to talk with, and talk with the people. So yeah, there's the more like sixteen. Yeah. Yeah, I think I will hold it there. I don't think I would buy a whiskey of this, but I think you, if you want to, you should definitely try this one because it could be something you like. Um, <clears throat> I do think this, is, as I said before, this is a good whiskey to have as um, introducing people to because this was it's actually good. It's just as something that I don't would buy to my collection. But I think this is something you could have at home, you know, for your start your whiskey or not to have. To invite people into their whiskey journey. So yeah, thank you very much, Dominic, for this one, and to all of you. See you next time. Bye.